Hi kids, thanks for reading the Bible with me and my friends. Let's pray. God, give me ears to hear and help my heart to understand. In Jesus' name, amen. Enjoy the show. God, with his mercy, gave us this work to do so we don't give up. But we have turned away from our secret and shameful ways. We use no trickery, and we do not change the teaching of God. We teach the truth plainly, showing everyone who we are. Then they can know in their hearts what kind of people we are in God's sight. If the good news that we preach is hidden, it is hidden only to those who are lost. The devil who rules this world has blinded the minds of those who do not believe. They cannot see the light of the good news. The good news about the glory of Christ who is exactly like God. We do not preach about ourselves, but we preach that Jesus Christ is Lord and that we are your servants for Jesus. God once said, let the light shine out of the darkness. This is the same God who made his light shine in our hearts by letting us know about the glory of God that is in the face of Christ. We hail this treasure from God, but we are like clay jars that hold the treasure. This shows that the great power is from God, not from us. We have troubles all around us, but we are not defeated. We do not know what we do, but we do not give up the hope of living. We are persecuted, but God does not leave us. We are hurt sometimes, but we are not destroyed. We carry the death of Jesus in our own bodies so that the life of Jesus can also be seen in our bodies. We are alive, but for Jesus, we are always in danger of death so that the life of Jesus can be seen in our bodies that die. Death is working in us, but life is working in you. It is written in the scriptures, I believed, so I spoke. Our faith is like this too. We believe, and so we speak. God raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, and we know that God also raises us up with Jesus. God will bring us together with you, and we will stand before him. All these things are for you, and so the grace of God that is being given to more and more people will be increasing thanks to God for his glory. So we do not give up. Our physical body is becoming older and weaker, but our spirit inside us is made new every day. We have small troubles for a while now, but they are helping us gain an eternal glory that is much greater than our troubles. We set our eyes not on what we see, but on what we cannot see. What we see will last only a short time, but what we cannot see will last forever. The last few verses of this chapter are so exciting. It said we set our eyes not on what we can see, but on what we cannot see. We will see it last only a short time, but what we cannot see will last forever. On earth, we'll have trouble and pain, bad days and sorrow, but in heaven, we won't have any of that. This verse reminds us of that, and our time on earth, while it seems like a really long time, is nothing in comparison to eternity in heaven. No pain, no sorrow, forever in the presence of God. That's so exciting. Would you like to ask Jesus in your heart so you know you're going to heaven and have this wonderful, exciting, never-ending life in the presence of God? Pray this prayer with me. God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins. I believe he died and rose again. Please forgive me of all my sins. Jesus, come into my heart. Make it clean and new. Help me 
me to live a life that's pleasing to you because I love you. And God, when I'm having a bad day, help me to remember that I get to spend eternity in heaven with you. The troubles of this world will only last a while, but eternity with you will be forever. I'm so excited for that. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you love this episode, like our channel, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you next time. Thanks for watching the show.